Hey Aquarius, it's Elle here. This is going to be a quick reading in regards to what your person wants to say to you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, the I, I'm, I want to do this reading because this song keeps coming up. It's like, um, um, I forget the name of the song. I know Sean Paul did it, right? Um, but it's like, I'm still in love with you boy so i don't know if you're still in love with somebody if someone's still in love with you but then there's a part in the song where she goes um you don't know how to love me so somebody don't know how to love you you know and somebody doesn't know how to give you what you need you know it's causing for boundaries so in this reading we're going to talk about what your person wants to tell you Yeah, my daughter just came out of her room and started laughing at me. You know, this is what you have to look forward to. Um, okay, so this person wants to tell you two of pentacles. I've changed. I'm a changed man. I'm a changed woman. I don't know about that. The two of pentacles, you know, you're, it's still the brink of changing. So this person wants to tell you that they're changing or that they're willing to make the changes for you. Or they're willing to make the changes for the relationship, the partnership. Uh, every day they're changing is what they want to tell you. What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? The King of Wands. Ooh, they deeply desire you. Um, they miss you. Um, you're in their heart's desire. You're in their heart. You have their heart with the King of Wands. Um, they may be kind of um, tied to their home at this time. Like they're staying home a lot. They're not going out as much. Um, they're, maybe they're not partying or drinking as much. I don't know. Um, they're hoping and wishing for opportunity with you. Luck. Um, you, you know, maybe you're, their lucky charm is what they want to tell you. There's a lot of desire here, though. A lot of passion. They feel like the chemistry is off the charts. They haven't found this. Or they can't replicate it. In anyone else that's what they want to tell you what else does this person want to tell the Aquarius Woo. yeah the will of fortune something about change or give me time give me time to change or I will change or um, my circumstances will change or I'm changing the people that I've been around or that I hang around or that I listen to or something about change or they're hoping for some some uh, you know um, coincidental serendipitous opportunity to see you to be in the same space with you uh, they feel like you're a soulmate definitely with the will of fortune they definitely want you back um, they could even be telling you or want to tell you that you've changed them or you've made them want to change the, the desire to change is 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 you were the catalyst okay um, what else does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Mind-blowing sex. So they feel like you you guys have mind-blowing sex. Like it, it, it's major to them. It's, it's everything. It, it's healing also. Seven of Wands. I knew the sex was coming out with the Seven of Wands. They feel like you have mind-blowing sex. You know? Um, they want to tell you that uh, they're willing to fight for what you guys have because the seven of wands talks, talks about fighting for what you have so this person is wanting to tell you i'm willing to fight for what we have or what what i thought we had or i'm willing to stand my ground for it um i'm trying to be proactive in changing something about changing their mind or changing the people that they're around what else does this person want to tell the aquarius the page of wands um yeah Something definitely wanting to hook up, you know, feeling like if we could just have the opportunity to hook up, you know, for me to hook you also is what I'm hearing. So maybe some of these people want to tell you, you know, look, if we just get the opportunity to get in the bedroom to get alone, you'll definitely be mine again. Um, they want some whirlwind romance to happen between you two. There's a lot of passion for you. Maybe this is what they feel like they need to give you or what this is what they have to give, you know? Back to the song, you don't know how to love me, you know? Um, and the girl and the guy sings the part of, I'm still in love with you. So this person is definitely still in love with you. Uh, but it could be an energy of not knowing how to love you because this is immaturity. 
this is exploration. I want to explore with you, or I want to explore your body, or I want to, you know, stuff like that. Six of swords. This is what they want to tell you. Um, they want to reconcile. So they want to go over the account of the relationship, of what happened, or what didn't happen, or what was said, or you know, they, they also want to move forward. They want to get to that peaceful, calm place with you. They want you to make sense of moving forward, reconciling. They want to get out of this turbulent, drama-filled, hurtful, very, you know, bad blood type of energy with you. They don't like it. They don't want to be there for whatever reason. Maybe even, even if they caused, they were the cause of all of this. Last card for what this person wants to tell the Aquarius. The Three of Wands. They're trying to manifest you, manifest your energy here with the Three of Wands. Um, yeah, they're trying to bring you back, you know, um, or they're putting something out, putting the fillers out, and they're hoping that, you know, you take to them. They're doing something first. They may be putting out some energy and hoping that you reach out to them first. The Three Cardinal Energy. They're hoping that you, yeah. This is ego also. Maybe they feel like they can't reduce themselves to such, you know, trivial behavior of being in love and reaching out to the person that they love. Wow. Um, so they're hoping that you come back first or that you reach out first. They will answer. They will answer the call. They'll answer the text. Yeah. Wow. As I say that, look at the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So they feel like they, you know, they sit on this throne. They can't you know, reduce themselves or come off their throne to come and chase you or let you know how much you mean to them or that they love you or that they want you. Interest in energy. This is still ego. This is still bravado. This is still um, trying to keep up a, a frontier. You know, this is somebody who won't let that subside. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give Aquarius one card of advice in regards to this person, and then we closing this out. I'm still in love with you, boy. Um, You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. That's the advice for you, Aquarius. I don't know what you're going to do with that. Um, you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. Stays on purpose. So purpose, the word purpose. Maybe for a reason. They stay for a particular reason. You know, maybe hopefully one that is mutually beneficial because it's two people here. And it's not just one-sided. They're not staying because you're giving or they're getting. They're staying because, you know, there's an exchange happening. There's, re, you know, uh, re reciprocal energy. They're reciprocating. So maybe that, that's the advice for you, Aquarius. That's what I have for you. I hope that um, this gave you a bit of clarity about what your person wants to say to you. Um, it took your feelings out of it and just talked about generally what they want to say to you and how they feel about you. Again, thank you for being here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Get your own personal reading. Readings are on sale, 50% off. Take advantage. Um, thank you. Many blessings to you, Aquarius. I will talk to you soon.